Yes! Yosef with his first ever forward loop. Hi everyone. My name is uh, Tunisia, Tunisian Dangerous Dave, also known as Yosef. <laughs> Today I'm going for the push loop. It looks quite good, super windy. I will probably be overpowered. Seems to be upside down. Uh, here in Poza for two months, trying to follow the big guys, going big, at least crashing big. Uh, today, trying to go for the push loop. Let's go. Uh, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Tried uh, some yesterday, crashing a lot. I've been eating my new sail. Been under rotating or over rotating? I was uh, rotating. Uh, I mean, I do the first part of the rotation quite good, and then when I'm on top of the sail, I was pushing with the back hand, but it was I wasn't getting like uh, pushed back again, you know. So someone told me to pull the front hand to the front hand to get like the wind and get back like this, but uh, it, I didn't have enough wind at the end. I did three hours uh, three hours of windsurfing yesterday, a lot of crashes. So I hope today is the good day. Okay, what size you are? 3.4, 74 liters. My board has maybe two extra kilos with uh, all the water inside, etc. But I think it's good. Okay, good luck, dude. Thanks. It's <laughs> windy. Oh, oh, on. Get that wave up. Come on, come on, yes. I'm just gonna go harder. I have to rotate faster. I have to hit the ramp with more steep and the head, of course. And the head just like there. Not like there. There. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Actually, that's good. Give him a wrap. Give him a wrap. Yes. 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 If you'd have had a bigger wave and a more cross shore, you would have made it. I honestly think the two bad ones you would have made. The good one, you went around further because you waited a little bit, you got some height, but you just needed to go up into wind and, and rotate a bit earlier. Just like, just a little bit. You just waited, like you said, you just said it. You waited just a split second too long and it was kind of a half between a back loop and a push loop, which is good, but you just needed to go a little bit earlier. Now the one you did, you had loads of speed. You went down with like, what? and then you cut up and you've got to use that momentum of speed and you push your back foot, push your back foot with the board. You kind of went up a little bit like a back loop, we'd held the board and then you went. Whereas if you'd have gone through, then you pull into it. It's like try and get the board to let you go. It feels wrong if you've done back loops before, but for a push loop, you've got to kind of let the board go. And then pull into it. Okay. That's good. Good, 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 good. Something that will stay with you all through the day. You've got to have something to start with. Yeah, that's the one. It's the one. It's the one. That's not the one. Go on. Go on, yes, 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 surely. Come on, that was it. Yes, get in. You. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. oh really? Badly? How was it? It looked good. Does it count? I think it counts just. I think you're close. I think you could. I think it counts. How did it my, feel? My, my front was sitting in the first round. Yeah, that's what that counts. It counts. Wait a minute, I need to get the mic. It counts. Hey! I'd say it counts. Okay. You might, you have to know if it counts. You know if it feels like it counts. For me, it counts. I think because it counts. Because I the push. Yeah, you can see, like, you can see the the whip on the on the first one when you came back, when you disappeared yeah. for a bit, then you came down. What did you do? Did you do anything different? Did you? What did you? No, I was just there, downwind, and and Sadri came and he told me, did you do it? I was like, no. He was like, fuck you, man. And then I saw him there. I just crossed the spot full speed. I found the ramp and I just did it. <laughs> it felt it feels so good. But the last one was nasty. Like and I tried a few other after that and the last one was super nasty. So now a break and then we go back for it. One thing is like I have to go full speed. If I don't go full speed, I'm just gonna undertake and eat my sail again. The secret is to go full speed, full power. I'm on free four right now, it picked up a lot, it's super super windy and just when when you have the power it just rotates alone it, it, you don't have to do anything actually you just like you do yeah, it so and it does itself you carry your forward momentum yeah round. exactly you just twist when you carry your forward momentum you just like 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 you like, like you just did right now it just turns it alone on itself it's just amazing what's the goal today last day last day of the summer i will not winter before maybe two or three months so now it's go big or go home I mean, I'm going home, so I just can't go big. <laughs> Send it. Always. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. No. Oh. 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 Come on, come on, come on. No, nah, it was super, super strong. It looked really windy. Like, I don't know how many knots are out there, but three, four, definitely too much. I mean, maybe I would have needed two, five. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. So that's it for me. End of the trip, last day. It was uh, super nice. We had uh, some uh, great conditions, not the best ones uh, as we can know here in Pozo, but some great conditions. Uh, I came for the push loop. Well, I think I, I got it. I think I understood how it works. Um, after that, uh, that day with Ben, I injured a bit my knee and I had then uh, one week of rest. Uh, and I could think about it, understand about how to get the whip, use my head, my eyes, etc. And then a few days ago, we had a good day, a lot of wind. In the morning I went, I felt quite comfortable. And I tried the first one, it was a crash. And then the second one, it was okay. And the, the third one it was like, I got the whip completely and came water start. Thanks to Ben and the guys, I got super motivated. I could land a few, few okay ones a few days ago. So it was super, super nice. Let's just go for it guys, the push-up is easy, I mean, nothing can happen, it's just like, just go for it, see you. No. He's safe. Oh, you made it. <laughs> 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 so, Dangerous Dave, Tunisian Dangerous Dave's heading out. He sees the ramp. He's had enough of push loops by now. He wants to go for a stall forward. He goes up. Dida Moreno is right behind him. He gets a bit freaked out. It's not right. He lets go and oh, he nearly takes out the Queen of Pozo.
Come on then, who wants it? Who wants a push loop tutorial video? <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't give Yosef any proper coaching. I gave him a few tips and a bit of encouragement, but he was already fully fired up and I said I'd film him. And it was just interesting to see what he does and what how he went for it. Uh, now I am making a video, a push loop tutorial video, and it's kind of a video of how I did my first push loop, which is a bit different, I think, to anyone else, which is kind of quite a lot of power in the sail and one-handed. Yes, I did say one-handed. You may be watching this thinking, man, that looks well scary. Well, wait for the video and I'll explain why that might be the easiest way to get you around the push loop. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Plenty more coming. See you for the next one.